welcome friends once again in another problem of geometric sequence the question is saying here the fourth term of a GP that geometric progression is the square of its second term and the first term is minus 3 determine its seventh term right so uh, first let's write whatever we have got over here right we have got here the first term right that is a equals to minus 3 uh, we haven't got the common ratio but we have got one hint that fourth term is actually right fourth term is the uh, fourth term of the GP is the square of its second term so it's square of its second term and we need to find out the seventh term right so I think there is no way to do further yeah only one way that fourth term is square of the second term so you know uh, in a GP first term is given here and some relation is given here that fourth term is the square of second term and we need to find out the seventh term so it means we have to work on the relation right so uh, so let's proceed the relation fourth term right fourth term is actually a times r to the power 3 right mm, let me not put the bracket okay and second term is a times r square again if you go it will be a times r cube right so let me write r cube no problem and it's a square times r square now see what I want to say here are two squares uh, two squares of a that, uh, you can say square of two that is there are two a and here is only one a so if I will cancel this a with this so I will be left with one a here and here are two r and here are three r's so if this two r's and the two out of this three will cancel out will be left with one r right I think you might be confusing so let me do it here uh, that's a and r cube that is r times r times r and a squared that is a times a again r is squared so uh, that is r times r and now see what are cutting here a and a are cancel and here this r and this r will cancel out this r and this r will cancel out and I will be left with r equals a so our common ratio is equal with the first term and the first term we have got that's minus 3 and now we need to find out the seventh term so our seventh term is a that's first term times the r to the power 6 and we know uh, first term is our minus 3 times r is our again minus 3 to the power 6 that is whole as whole it's going to be minus 3 to the power there is nothing and there is 1 so 1 plus 6 that will be 7 because the base is same so when the base is same I mean to say um, uh, x to the power n x to the power m times x to the power m if there is then x to the power n plus m we used to write that's why it is like this right so now 3 to the power minus 7 it means 7 times we need to multiply minus 3 1 time 2 time 3 time 4 time uh, 5 time 6 time and then 7 time right so let's multiply this right so this uh, 3 let me first talk about the negative sign since here minus has odd power right since minus has some odd power right so it will be minus again I don't have to repeat this I right because earlier I have said if the minus has power odd then the product actually as a whole the result will be minus and if the minus has power some even number then the a result will be positive so here minus has power some odd number that's why the product uh, as a whole at last you will get minus now let's multiply this 3 times 7 so 3 times 3 that is 9 9 times 3 27 27 times 3 81 81 times 3 uh, that will be 243 I think and 243 times 3 mm, 3 3 is a 9 729 and 729 times 3 it will be 29 times 387 7 200 uh, 2187 right so a7 means our seventh term we got that 2187 right so like this you need to find out any number of term and this kind of problem I think you can do first you should know that whatever you have got first write those all and there will be some hint of course there will be some hint in every question for proceeding right like here we have got a uh, got a hint that fourth term is a square of the second term so by proceeding this I got the value some unknown value that was R 
right and which gonna uh, which has been here equal to the first term and we got minus 3 and finally we put the value of a and r in the seventh term and we got the answer right so we'll be we'll be doing more problem actually and that will uh, give you more concept in other problems all right so we'll be meeting in the next video bye bye